Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Vineet and today we will learn how to install Oracle Database 21C on Windows 10 operating system. Recently we have published a blog and video on how to install Oracle Database 19C on Windows 10 and the link for the same is in the description box. Simply click on the link and you will be redirected to uh, the blog. On the blog in the table of the content click on the Oracle 19C install on Windows 10. Here you will see two links, one is for 19C and one is for 21C. Click on the 21C, it will take you to the website of Oracle and from there you you have to install the file which which has a zip extension click on the file click on checkbox click on the download button it will ask for your uh, oracle credentials you need to provide the username and password for the oracle account and once done your file will be downloaded in the uh, in, in your system to save time we have already downloaded the file in our system it's a zip file so we have to extract the file so before we go ahead and extract the file we have to go to our c drive and here we have to create a folder with the name oracle 21c once the folder is created we have to extract the file inside this folder. Now wait for some time, the file is little big so it will take some time. So I am pausing the video till the time the file is extracting. Alright, so the file has been extracted in our system. Let's go ahead and see that. So it's in C drive inside the Oracle 21C folder. If you are, if you are not seeing a folder over here and you are seeing the files directly uh, like this one, then we have to move it in, inside a folder. So uh, let me copy this name from here and then I'll create a new folder. So I will right click and click create a folder and paste the name that I have copied from that main folder from the zip file. So now I have to move all the files inside this folder. Alright guys, so I have moved all the folder inside one folder. So now this, uh, if I'll come inside this 21C, I will be seeing this kind of folder. Now inside this, all the files are stored. This is important because, because uh, later on more files will be created in this at this place. Once done, scroll down to the bottom of the page and you will see a red colored setup file. Before you go ahead and click on this file, uh, make sure that you have added it to the exception for this uh, on, on your antivirus. So I am using the default Windows uh, Defender on my system. So I'll click on the Defender file and then inside Firewall and Network Protection, I will see this option which says allow, allow an app through Firewall. Click on it and then I'll click on a change settings and allow another app. Now from here I will uh, navigate to the for, uh, to the file, this uh, executable file. It is important because uh, while uh, installing it will create some network uh, uh, network files. So uh, maybe that, that files are few of these those files are blocked by the antivirus click on add and then ok now we can go ahead and install this software click on it and click on yes for the pop-up menu so this is the interface of 21c now leave it to the default option which says create and configure a single instance database click on next leave it to the desktop class click on next from here you can choose any option and but I will go with the use windows built-in account and then click on yes then click on next. Alright guys, so uh, please pay attention on this page and also please make a note of all the information that you are going to fill in the, in this form. So let me provide the password. So I have provided the password and I have like take a note of everything with, like uh, the global database name, the base folder and rest I don't have to change anything. I, I'll go ahead and click on next button. Alright, so this is the final option. If you want to make any changes, click on the go back button and uh, make that changes. And uh, you can also save the responses. Let me go ahead and save the responses inside my document. So that in future, if you have to refer like what all settings you have done, you can refer it through that file and then click on install. If you are seeing this kind of prompt, just click on allow access. So the installation may take uh, 5 to 10 minutes depending upon the system configuration. So in the meantime uh, it is installing, I am pausing the video. 21C Oracle database has been successfully installed on your Windows uh, operating system. Uh, during the installation if you have faced any error or any red cross on any of the steps, uh, please mention it in the comment box with the error code or any uh, error message or the step name and we will reply you with the solution to the problem. Moving forward, once it is installed, let's open our browser and we can use this Click on the advanced option and click on proceed to localhost. Now you have to provide uh, type sys and you have to provide the password that you have created uh, on that page. And container name you can leave it empty. Once you are logged in into this page you can see which 
uh, folder or which directory is consuming how much power so this is uh, not of any use for as if now but later when you will uh, you will start working with your database you can come here and monitor the uh, things now let's go ahead and start our sql plus you can try uh, type slash as sys dba sys dba is a powerful user and it do not require any password uh, for the first time like uh, you can it is highly recommended to change the password once you have logged in and into it first time apart from this you can also access this from command prompt you have to type sql plus this dba so you're logged in into your oracle database if you have a uh, if you have already installed or a SQL developer tool, then you can go ahead and access this from there as well. And in case if you want to know how to install Oracle SQL develop, developer tool, we have created a video on that as well. And we will be leaving the link in the description box. So this is how we can uh, install Oracle 21C on Windows 10 operating system. If this video was helpful to you, please click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.